this episode we're going to cover a small but very useful piece of functionality and that's just battle text. This text is useful for describing the action being taken and by whom it is being taken. It is also useful for describing any meta events that occur in the course of the fight, for example when you escape the fight or win the fight or anything else you might need. We do this in a very simple way, we have a variable called battle text that simply contains whatever string you want to be shown and make it blank when we don't want to show anything. So let's first of all go to obattles create event and add battle text equals a blank string. Then if we scroll down to the begin action function, we want to add battle text equals string ext, which lets us pass not only a string into the variable, but an array of other strings that can be used inside the string at key points. You might remember in our game data, our item descriptions contain a zero in curly brackets. This is a placeholder for the user of the action and will be replaced by entry zero of the array we pass using string ext. So in string ext we want to pass the action description and for the argument array we make an array containing just the user's name. This means we should end up seeing lulu attacks or slime attacks as appropriate. We could pass in more details to this array like targets and so on but that might get tricky with multiple targets so we're just going to keep it simple for now. Next we need to make sure we reset battle text when the action is over. A reasonable place to do this is in battle state turn progression, just set battle text back to the blank string. As for drawing the text it's pretty straightforward. Go to O battles draw event and somewhere at the bottom we'll add the following. Assuming that battle text is not currently a blank string, we'll draw an S box sprite based on the width of the string. If you use a different font here for some reason, be sure to set the font before using string width as it relies on whatever font is currently set to work out how wide a string should be. Then as always set your alignment and color as needed and then just draw the text. That's really it. When you run the game you'll see that actions in fights are now described. You need to make sure description is defined for each action, but it can just be a blank string if you don't want to show anything for some reason. You also don't need to include the zero to show who is using the action, but I find it's generally a useful thing to have. We'll be using this in a bit more detail when we cover finishing the fight or escaping from the fight, but for now that's everything. A shorter episode is some relief here from the more intense code of the last few. Thank you to my patrons for funding what I do, here are some of them on screen now, and thank you for watching till the end. I'll catch you all next time.